Zeitz. Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today we got a product from Mayblock. So they sent us this to review. This is a Ampot Neo. So this is a toy that's for kids uh, and STEM related. So it should be really fun for my kid to play. Uh, but unfortunately, this one is eight and up. Uh, but I'm just gonna guide him anyway. Just play with him and see how it goes. Uh, so he's really into robots and uh, this type of toy. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy about it once I show him. But anyway, uh, let's open it up. So this is pretty neat. As you can see, uh, you have to sort of build this as you, as you go. So not just some toy, you can just take it out of the box and then start playing with it. So this is quite unique. Uh, especially for boys, it's like a hands-on experience. So, all right, this is a metal bracket. I think it's for the body. And here's main circuit board. Uh, it's Mayblock M Bot 2, one robot per child. Wow, so this looks pretty cool. This has a like, circuit board and everything. And here is a remote control, very small, very tiny. And let's see, more underneath here, once you take out the upper tray, here is the instruction. Some kind of dime here. Looks like some kind of roll block. I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out. Two bags of stuff inside here. <clears throat> See what they have. Okay, more circuit boards. Oh, this looks like the eyes. Um, cables. USB. All right, here is a box. I'm not quite sure what's inside. Oh, this looks like motors. Uh, two motors here. And the other box, we got wheels. This goes onto the wheels. Screws, tools to put everything together. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You know, it has all kinds of stuff here. All right, so more recently we, we made up a toy like this. We went to a um, some kind of stand class, and this is something that he made with a circuit board and battery, motor, wheels, and everything. So yeah, he's really into this kind of toys nowadays. So this is a perfect gateway for him to kind of get used to the idea of having robots or playing with robots around. So anyway, this is all the stuff that came in the box and uh, let me go read up the instruction and let's try to set this up. Now let's talk about how to play this Ampa. They send you all the necessary parts for you to put them together. My kid is really young. So this Ampa is actually suited for kids age eight and up. So I helped and assembled the robot with him. Now, if you are letting your child to assemble this, I strongly suggest that you double check him or her work afterward to make sure that everything is put together the way it's supposed to as there are some cables involved that you need to make sure that you plug into the right place now once you have assembled the robot you can turn this robot on it's on the side and just turn it on initially i thought this is a remote that you can just take it and control the robot by itself but apparently it's just a joystick that you uh, select on the menu setting here. On the side, you can go back and there's a battery logo here that you can see and switch program, rainbow light. And as you can see, the lights down there is changing color. So there are some stuff that you can mess around with. The USB charging points on the side, here's home button. All right, so here's the underneath of the robot. You can, as you can see, the motor is on the side, here's LED strip, and it's pretty neat, I'll tell you that much. What is really interesting is their app. So you have the mate block. So right now it's already set up uh, using the Bluetooth. And once you get close to the robot, it will connect. And now you can hit play you can drive, yeah, depending on, you, essentially using the app as a joystick. 
It does take some time to get used to it. There are six buttons on the side uh, where it's pre-programmed. So once you click on it, it will do the pre-programmed thing that it's supposed to do. Now the second one is called draw and run. It's pretty neat. If you just touch on the screen, you draw and you press play, yeah, the robot will just do the command that you just did on the app itself. And then this musician on top, there are four buttons that's pre-recorded. Or you can press the keyboard to play sound that you want it. And voice control, you can make it do stuff, move forward. So that's just the app portion of things. Now for this particular robot, you can actually program it. You can go further than what the factory settings are. And what you need to do is actually go into their website and download their software that is suitable for either Windows or Mac computers. Now once you have downloaded it, then what you need to do is to take out this joystick and plug in through the USB C cable to your either PC or Mac. And once you have done your programming, you can upload it to this joystick. And this is where the control center is. I'll be honest, I haven't tested that out because I have no clue how to program a robot. So I am also in the learning process. First, I need to learn semi how to do certain things and then teach my kid how to do it. So that way we can both learn along. My final thought about this Mate Block M Bot 2, I think it's a really great toy to have for your kids. It doesn't matter how young they are, it's a great way for them to get introduced with robotic toys. So that way they can start learning how to do simple programming and also assemble and disassemble certain robots. This is a very great platform to start your kid on. And it will last for a long time. It's a great investment for your kid. So anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.